What's up guys, welcome to Bluebot Tech. Today we're going to be going over how to set up your WISE camera with Home Assistant. We're going to be going through how to set up RTSP streaming with your WISE camera, and then we're going to go over how to configure Home Assistant to allow you to view that RTSP stream. Now before we get started, I just want to mention that we are really close to our 1000 subscriber mark. And if you can, if you enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe, it definitely helps us out. We appreciate all the support that you guys have given us so far. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm quickly gonna show you where the micro SD card is located on your WISE version three camera. If you look here at the bottom, there's the setup button. And then there's also this SD card button. All right guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and open up your web browser. And we're gonna go ahead and Google WISE cam RTSP. And that should give you the WISE support page to find the firmware to download the RTSP support for your camera. And this pretty much gives you a step-by-step -step installation instructions on how to install the RTSP firmware. Now they have the WISE firmware for the WISE CAM version 2, the version 3, and the WISE CAM PAN. And what we're going to want to do is go ahead and plug in your micro SD card that you pulled out of your WISE camera and go ahead and plug that into your computer. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the SD card in your file system. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this firmware file that we just downloaded from the Y support page onto our micro SD card. And once that's done, you can go ahead and unplug your micro SD card from your PC and you should be able to put it back into your WISE camera at this point. All right, so once the micro SD card is plugged back into your WISE version three camera, go ahead and hold down the setup button and locate it on the bottom. Now you're gonna to wanna to hold this for about 10 seconds. If you look at that little blinking red light, once it turns to bluish purple, that's how you know it's ready to go. Now, once the light turns bluish purple, you should be good to go. But if it doesn't show up in your WISE app, go ahead and pair it again to your account. All right, now once you have the camera loaded back up on your app, go ahead and choose the camera that you're trying to add RTSP support for. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the cogwheel up in the top right, which is the settings, and then go down to advanced settings. Once there, scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see the RTSP setting. And you're gonna to wanna to turn that on. Now to access your RTSP stream, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up your username and password for this specific stream. Once this is completed, you should have the RTSP URL and go ahead and copy that because we're gonna need it later. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and go to your file editor. And we're gonna edit our configuration.yaml file. And at the very bottom you see in my setup, I added the platform generic, the name of my camera, which is blue cam, and then the still image URL, which is my home assistant local IP address, including the slash local and the slash blue cam. All right, for the stream source, we're gonna go ahead and add in the RTSP stream that we just pulled from our Wise Cam app. Note that the local IP address is your camera's IP address and not your home assistant IP address. And you see here at the bottom, I have verify SSL false. Um, you, pro you most likely will not need that. Also, if you're using DuckDNS to connect to your home assistant network, then make sure you use your host name in place of your IP address. And also you need to port forward your RTSP ports. Um, these can be found in the Wise Docker Bridge add-on configuration tab, um, and we'll cover this in the next section. All right, so once your configuration.yaml file is all set up, go ahead and click save, and then you're gonna wanna restart your home assistant instance. All right guys, so the next step is that we need to add the Docker Wise Bridge. And to do this, let's go to the Docker Wise Bridge GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description. And this GitHub pretty much gives us a breakdown of everything that we need to know to set up this Docker image. So we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna click this add repository under compatibility. So we're gonna go ahead and click this to add this Docker image into Home Assistant. You may have to enter your Home Assistant URL here, um, but mine had already done this, so it is set up automatically. Once you do that, you go ahead and click open link. And this basically just loads up the Docker Wise Bridge um, add-on for you. And for me, I already have this installed, but you should see an option to install from this, from here. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and open it up and you're gonna wanna go to the configuration. And here is where you're gonna enter your Wise account information, your email address and password. And that's pretty much it that you need there. Once that's done, go ahead and click save and then restart your home assistant. Now, if everything's set up properly, you should see in the logs here for the Docker Wise Bridge that it's starting to detect your Wise cameras. Um, if you have any error messages, you may want to check out your configuration.yaml file. And another thing I noticed when I was first setting this up, I had messed up on my configuration.yaml file a couple times. And then I started getting an error here in the logs saying that I had made too many um, API calls to Wise, and I think it kind of locked me out temporarily. So just be aware of that. 
All right, so the next step is to go back to your overview tab. And we're gonna go ahead and add a card to our overview UI. Now we're gonna be using picture at a glance. And here we're gonna get rid of those entities. We don't need those. And we're gonna go ahead and add blue cam that we just added to our configuration.yaml file. And once you select live, you should see the live feed right there. And there you go, it's just that easy. And that's our video guys. This is a super short one. I hope you found it useful. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. If you ever have any questions or if you have any suggestions for other videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, thank you.